The name Jet Propulsion Laboratory Development Ephemeris followed by a number, the abbreviation JPL de number, or just de number, designates one of a series of models of the solar system produced at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, primarily for purposes of spacecraft navigation and astronomy. The models consist of computer representations of positions, velocities and accelerations of major solar system bodies, tabulated at equally spaced intervals of time, covering a specified span of years. Barycentric rectangular coordinates of the Sun, eight major planets and Pluto, and geocentric coordinates of the Moon are tabulated. DE-405, created in May 1997, include both nutations and librations, and is considered the fundamental planetary and lunar ephemerides of the Astronomical Almanac. It is very large at 62.4 MB, so smaller, more targeted versions have been created based on DE-405. Topic. History There have been many versions of the JPL de, from the 1960s through the present, in support of both robotic and manned spacecraft missions. Available documentation is sketchy, but we know DE-69 was announced in 1969 to be the third release of the JPL ephemeris tapes, and was a special purpose, short duration ephemeris. The then current JPL export ephemeris was DE-19. These early releases were distributed on magnetic tape. In the days before personal computers, computers were large and expensive, and numerical integrations such as these were run by large organizations with ample resources. The JPL ephemerides prior to DE-405 were integrated on a UNIVAC mainframe in double precision. For instance, DE-102, which was created in 1977, took 6 million steps and ran for 9 days on a UNIVAC 1181st. DE-405 was integrated on a DEC Alpha in quadruple precision. In the 1970s and early 1980s, much work was done in the astronomical community to update the astronomical almanacs from the theoretical work of the 1890s to modern, relativistic theory. From 1975 through 1982, six ephemerides were produced at JPL using the modern techniques of least squares adjustment of numerically integrated output to high precision data, DE-96 in November 1975, DE-102 in September 1977, DE-111 in May 1980, DE-118 in September 1981, and DE-200 in 1982. DE-102 was the first numerically integrated so-called long ephemeris, covering much of history for which useful astronomical observations were available, 1141 BC to AD 3001. DE-200, a version of DE-118 migrated to the J2000.0 reference frame, was adopted as the fundamental ephemeris for the new almanacs starting in 1984. DE-402 introduced coordinates referred to the International Celestial Reference Frame ICRF. The JPL ephemerides have been the basis of the Astronomical Almanac since 1981's DE-200. The current 2016 Almanac is derived from DE-430. Construction Each ephemeris was produced by numerical integration of the equations of motion, starting from a set of initial conditions. Due to the precision of modern observational data, the analytical method of general perturbations could no longer be applied to a high enough accuracy to adequately reproduce the observations. The method of special perturbations was applied, using numerical integration to solve the n-body problem, in effect putting the entire solar system into motion in the computer's memory, accounting for all relevant physical laws. The initial conditions were both constants such as planetary masses, from outside sources, and parameters such as initial positions and velocities, adjusted to produce output which was a best fit to a large set of observations. A least squares technique was used to perform the fitting. As of DE-421, perturbations from 343 asteroids, representing about 90% of the mass of the main asteroid belt, have been included in the dynamical model. The physics modeled included the mutual Newtonian gravitational accelerations and their relativistic corrections, a modified form of the einstein infeld hoffmann equation, the accelerations caused by the tidal distortion of the Earth, the accelerations caused by the figure of the Earth and Moon, and a model of the lunar librations. The observational data in the fits has been an evolving 
orbiting set, including, ranges distances to planets measured by radio signals from spacecraft, direct radar ranging of planets, two-dimensional position fixes on the plane of the sky by VLBI of spacecraft, transit and CCD telescopic observations of planets and small bodies, and laser ranging of retroreflectors on the Moon, among others. DE-102, for instance, was fit to 48,479 observations. The time argument of the integrated ephemerides is a relativistic coordinate timescale called TEPH, necessary in precise work to account for the small relativistic effects of time dilation and simultaneity. In later ephemerides, TEPH is essentially equivalent to the IAU definition of TCB. Topic. Distribution Positions and velocities of the Sun, Earth, Moon, and planets, along with the orientation of the Moon, are stored as Chebyshev polynomial coefficients fit in 32-day-long segments. The ephemerides are now available via World Wide Web and FTP as data files containing the Chebyshev coefficients, along with source code to recover, calculate, positions and velocities. Files vary in the time periods they cover, ranging from a few hundred years to several thousand, and bodies they include. Data may be based on each planet's true center or its barycenter. The use of Chebyshev polynomials enables highly precise calculations for a given point in time. DE405 recovery calculation for the inner planets is about 0.001 arcseconds equivalent to about 1 km at the distance of Mars, for the outer planets it is generally about 0.1 arcseconds. The reduced accuracy DE406 ephemeris gives an interpolating precision relative to the full ephemeris values no worse than 25 meters for any planet and no worse than 1 meter for the Moon. Note that these precision numbers are for the interpolated values relative original tabulated coordinates. The overall precision and accuracy of interpolated values for describing the actual motions of the planets will be a function of both the precision of the ephemeris tabulated coordinates and the precision of the interpolation. Topic. Applications JPL uses the ephemerides for navigation of spacecraft throughout the solar system. Typically, a new ephemeris is computed including the latest available observations of the target planets, either for planning of the missions, or for final contact of the spacecraft with the target. See below, recent ephemerides in the series. The Astronomical Almanac for 1984 through 2002 were based on JPL Ephemeris DE200, and from 2003 to 2014 the Astronomical Almanac was based on JPL Ephemeris DE405. The current Almanac is derived from DE430. The JPL Ephemerides are widely used for planetary science, some examples are included in the notes and references. Software is available to use the JPL ephemerides for the production of apparent ephemerides for any location and time. These are widely used by professional and amateur astronomers for reducing planetary observations and producing very precise observing guides. DE430 and DE431 can be used with the popular planetarium software Stellarium. Topic: Ephemerides in the series. Topic. Latest releases DE430 was created in 2013 and is intended for use in analyzing modern data. It covers the dates 1550 January 1 to 2650 January 22 with the most accurate lunar ephemeris. From 2015 onwards this ephemeris is utilized in Astronomical Almanac. Beginning with this release only Mars Barycenter was included due to the small masses of its moons Phobos and Deimos which create a very small offset from the planet's center. The complete ephemerides files is 128 megabytes but several alternative versions have been made available by JPLDE 431 was created in 2013 and is intended for analysis of earlier historical observations of the Sun, Moon, and planets. It covers a longer time span than DE 430 13,201 BC to AD 17,191 agreeing with DE 430 within one meter over the time period covered by DE 430. 
Position of the Moon is accurate within 20 meters between 1913 to 2113 and that error grows quadratically outside of that range. It is the largest of the ephemerides files at 3.4 GB. DE-432 was created April 2014. It includes librations but no mutations. DE-432 is a minor update to DE-430, and is intended primarily to aid the New Horizons project targeting of Pluto. Topic. Past releases DE-102 was created in 1981, includes mutations but not librations. Referred to the dynamical equator and equinox of 1950. Covers JED 1206160.5-1410 to JED 2817872.5-3002.5. DE-200 was created in 1981, includes mutations but not librations. Referred to the dynamical equator and equinox of 2000. Covers JED 2305424.5 1599 December 9th to JED 2513360.5 2169 March 31st. This ephemeris was used for the Astronomical Almanac from 1984 to 2003. DE 202 was created in 1987, includes mutations and librations. Referred to the dynamical equator and equinox of 2000. Covers JED 2414992.5 1899 December 4 to JED 2469808.5 2050 January 2, DE 402 was released in 1995, and was quickly superseded by DE 403. DE 403 was created 1993, released in 1995. FJPL ephemeris was expressed in the coordinates of the International Earth Rotation Service IERS reference frame, essentially the ICRF. The data crunched by JPL to derive the ephemeris began to move away from limited accuracy telescopic observations and more toward higher accuracy radar ranging of the planets, radio ranging of spacecraft, and very long baseline interferometric VLBI observations of spacecraft, especially for the four inner planets. Telescopic observations remained important for the outer planets because of their distance, hence the inability to bounce radar off of them, and the difficulty of parking a spacecraft near them. The perturbations of 300 asteroids were included, versus DE-118, DE-200 which included only the five asteroids determined to cause the largest perturbations. Better values of the planet's masses had been found since DE-118, DE-200, further refining the perturbations. Lunar laser ranging accuracy was improved, giving better positions of the Moon. DE-403 covered the time span April 1599 to June 2199, DE-404 was released in 1996. A so-called long ephemeris, this condensed version of DE-403 covered 3000 BC to AD 3000. While both DE-403 and DE-404 were integrated over the same time span, the interpolation of DE-404 was somewhat reduced in accuracy and mutation of the Earth and libration of the Moon were not included. DE-405 was released in 1998. It added several years extra data from telescopic, radar, spacecraft, and VLBI observations of the Galileo spacecraft at Jupiter, in particular. The method of modeling the asteroids' perturbations was improved, although the same number of asteroids were modeled. The ephemeris was more accurately oriented onto the ICRF. DE-405 covered 1600 to 2200 to full precision. This ephemeris was utilized in the Astronomical Almanac from 2003 until 2014. DE-406 was released with DE-405 in 1998. A long ephemeris, this was the condensed version of DE-405, covering 3000 BC to AD 3000 with the same limitations as DE-404. This is the same integration as DE-405, with the accuracy of the interpolating polynomials has been lessened to reduce file size for the longer time span covered by the file. DE-407 was apparently unreleased. Details in readily available sources are sketchy. DE-408 was an unreleased ephemeris, created in 2005 as a longer version of DE-406, covering 20,000 years. 
DE-409 was released in 2003 for the Mare spacecraft arrival at Mars and the Cassini arrival at Saturn. Further spacecraft ranging and VLBI to the Mars Global Surveyor, Mars Pathfinder and the Mars Odyssey spacecraft and telescopic data were included in the fit. The orbits of the Pioneer and Voyager spacecraft were reprocessed to give data points for Saturn. These resulted in improvements over DE-405, especially to the predicted positions of Mars and Saturn. DE-409 covered the years 1901-2019. DE-410 was also released in 2003 covered 1901-2019, with improvements from DE-409 in the masses for Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn and the Earth-Moon system based on recent research. Though the masses had not yet been adopted by the IAU. The ephemerides were created to support the arrivals of the Mare and Cassini spacecraft. DE-411 was widely cited in the astronomical community, but not publicly released by JPL. DE-412 was widely cited in the astronomical community, but not publicly released by JPL. DE-413 was released in 2004 with updated ephemeris of Pluto in support of the occultation of a star by its satellite Charon on of July 2005. DE-413 was fit to new CCD telescopic observations of Pluto in order to give improved positions of the planet and its moon. DE-414 was created in 2005 and released in 2006. The numerical integration software was updated to use quadruple precision for the Newtonian part of the equations of motion. Ranging data to the Mars Global Surveyor and Mars Odyssey spacecraft were extended to 2005, and further CCD observations of the five outer planets were included in the FIT. Some data was accidentally left out of the fit, namely Magellan-Venus data for 1992-94 and Galileo-Jupiter data for 1996-97. Some ranging data to the near Shoemaker spacecraft orbiting the asteroid Eros was used to derive the Earth-Moon mass ratio. DE-414 covered the years 1599-2201. DE-418 was released in 2007 for planning the New Horizons mission to Pluto. New observations of Pluto, which took advantage of the new astrometric accuracy of the Hipparchos star catalogue, were included in the FIT. Mars spacecraft ranging and VLBI observations were updated through 2007. Asteroid masses were estimated differently. Lunar laser ranging data for the Moon was added for the first time since DE-403, significantly improving the lunar orbit and librations. Estimated position data from the Cassini spacecraft was included in the FIT, improving the orbit of Saturn, but rigorous analysis of the data was deferred to a later date. DE-418 covered the years 1899-2051, and JPL recommended not using it outside of that range due to minor inconsistencies which remained in the planet's masses due to time constraints. DE-421 was released in 2008. It included additional ranging and VLBI measurements of Mars spacecraft, new ranging and VLBI of the Venus Express spacecraft, the latest estimates of planetary masses, additional lunar laser ranging, and two more months of CCD measurements of Pluto. When initially released in 2008, the DE-421 ephemeris covered the years 1900 to 2050. An additional data release in 2013 extended the coverage to the year 2200. DE-422 was created in 2009 for the Messenger mission to Mercury. A long ephemeris, it was intended to replace DE-406, covering 3000 BC to AD 3000. DE-423 was released in 2010. Position estimates of the Messenger spacecraft and additional range and VLBI data from the Venus Express spacecraft were fit. D423 covered the years 1799 to 2200. D424 was created in 2011 to support the Mars Science Laboratory mission. Topic: See also Jet Propulsion Laboratory Fundamental Ephemeris Topic. Notes and references Topic. External links 
Faulkner's descriptions of most of JPL's The Series NRAO description of the format and users of the JPL ephemerides IAU's papers and information related to ephemerides JPL Solar System Dynamics Information about JPL ephemerides and links to programs and source code Java source code that implements JPL ephemerides and other theories MATLAB code to read the ephemerides JPL FTP site with ephemerides data files, source code for access and basic processing of the data to recover positions and velocities, and documentation. JPL inter-office memoranda describing features of the ephemerides. U.S. Naval Observatory Naval Oceanography Portal History of the Astronomical Almanac Accessed September 2017 Topic. Sources Standish, Newhall, Williams, Yeomans 1992. Chapter 5, Orbital Ephemerides of the Sun, Moon, and Planets. In Seidelman, ed., Explanatory Supplement to the Astronomical Almanac 1 ed., Mill Valley, CA, University Science Books, ISBN 978-0-935702-682. Standish, Williams, Chapter 8, Orbital Ephemerides of the Sun, Moon, and Planets, PDF, an unpublished, updated version of the above source. <laughs>